At 102 years old, legendary judo coach Yoshu Chida has seen it all. But nothing was more stunning than when Mike Swain shocked the sport of judo by winning the world championship in 1987. No American male had ever done so. It was the happiest moment because nobody from the United States had ever won a gold medal. And this was the world championship that made me proud and happy. Swain's triumph continues to echo with both the old and the young. And San Jose State's judo program keeps producing top international competitors because Swain showed the next generation what was possible. When Mike did it, he, you know, he proved that you can, we can be from the U.S. and we can produce world champions as well. It gave the younger generation of athletes hope that, hey, this can be done. Doing judo as a kid, Mike had already become the first world champion in judo. So for me, he was an example of what my future in the sport could look like and what the highest attainment of results could be. You know, they say every champion has a journey and every journey has a story. Well, that story started with his parents. Swain began his martial arts journey as a soft-spoken kid in New Jersey. His parents, Harry and Loretta Swain, supported Mike's new passion and made 80-minute round trips just to take him to the most respected dojo in the area. Mike was so good so early that the sensei could already see the medals coming. He told his mother that Mike would become the next U.S. champion. At a tournament in San Francisco in 1979, 16-year-old Swain made an impression by coming in second against much older competition. Watching intently that day was Coach Uchida, who spotted great potential and recruited him to San Jose State on the spot. I saw a young guy who didn't know too much, but he had stamina and he had a good balance. Swain competed for the Spartans from 1980 to 84. During that time, he also expanded his horizons with regular training trips to Japan. It seemed like he had a plan for every step of the way of his career. He trained very hard. Also, he would train abroad to improve his technique and improve his standings in the world competition. The work paid off with what remains one of the greatest five-year stretches in the history of American judo. A gold medal and two silvers at the Worlds, a gold at the Pan Am Games, and a bronze at the 1988 Olympics in Seoul. And as his first sensei predicted, Swain won the U.S. National Championship. In fact, he went on to be a four-time national champion. But Swain's greatest triumph, the one that would redefine U.S. judo, had its roots in a lopsided defeat. The first time Mike Swain faced Toshihigo Koga in 1986, the rising Japanese star surprised the American. Koga hit Swain so hard he saw stars. Then he threw Swain higher than he'd ever been thrown on his way to a decisive victory. With Koga in mind, Swain got creative in his training. In Japan, he came across a trainer who could mimic Koga's best techniques. Swain promptly brought him to San Jose to help him prepare for the rematch, which took place in Essen, Germany at the 1987 World Championships. Swain threw the entire sport for a loop by defeating Koga in the quarterfinals and secured judo immortality by winning the gold medal match. The kids that saw and heard about the World Championships then wanted to come to San Jose State as well. Mike Swain was selected to the 1980, 84, 88, and 92 U.S. Olympic teams. He retired from competition after that, but returned to coach the U.S. team at the 1996 Games in Atlanta. In 2004, the U.S. Olympic Committee honored Swain as a pioneer for his sport. He helps carry on the proud tradition at San Jose State, where Uchida remains the head coach, and Mike has been his longtime assistant. I think Mike's coaching style is very receptive to each and every player. He has so much experience as a judo player that he can kind of see what kind of changes you need to make in live time and give you the advice to execute really quickly. Mike was very big on technique and trusting the technique, trusting that technique will get you to your destination. 
And that helped me a lot as I rose through the ranks and competed internationally. Mike Swain lives and works in the San Jose area, serving as vice president of a martial arts equipment company. He's married to Tanya Ishii, who competed for Brazil in judo at the 1992 Olympics. They have a daughter, Sofia, and a son, Masato. Mike was a very special athlete and a very special human being to be able to do what he did at the level that he did it for as long as he did it. And I think that's something that we can all look at and be inspired by. The most important thing I learned from Mike is to be humble. If you were to meet him on the street or talk to him in everyday life, you would have no idea about his incredible judo record. I've known him for 45 years, ever since he was 16 years old. And we've been together for that long. He's like my brother. I really feel that way. In judo, matches begin and end with a bow demonstrating respect and humility. But let's end this with a rousing ovation as Mike Swain enters the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame.